Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna. Today we're going to be working on this cute little scarecrow straw hat decoration. Um, I had posted it on one of the websites that I belong to and on one of the Facebook pages I belong to and um, had a lot of requests that they said they would like to see me how I did this. So we're going to do a tutorial on this little guy today. So what I started with was a straw hat from Michaels and oops, I lost my thing. It is about 17 inches across and it was about $8. I think it was close to $8 anyway. And unfortunately I did not bring a coupon with me that day. So I paid full price for that puppy. Um, so what I did was I took, how I got my triangles and stuff for the face. I took a piece of scrap paper and I folded a piece over like that. And I measured for the eyes, I measured in one inch, no, three quarters of an inch. And I made my, let me move this out of my way. So I took it. Laid my ruler down, measured in three quarters of an inch, made a mark. Came up one and three quarters high and made a mark. So they both, the nose and the eyes are one and three quarters inches high. So you can make a mark on this side. But the nose part is only five eighths. So make a mark there. So I just folded one side on my paper. And it doesn't matter how long it says, you can fold it over. So now I'm going to cut. A triangle from there to there and that is my eye. I'm going to cut a triangle from this mark. I should zoom in a little bit here while I'm doing this part and then I'll zoom back out. Okay so make from this mark here to that pencil mark there another triangle and that's my nose. So that's how I created those. And you can make them any size you want. That was just the size that looked like it was the best fit for this. I then took Sharpie marker and and it's going to end up being a little bit bigger because you're going outside the Sharpie marker. And just very lightly, I went around my pattern. It almost gives you like a um, dotted line effect. So I did that to both eyes and the nose. The nose is placed center of the hat. Just like that. There's a little spiral that comes in. So I placed it right on top of that spiral to get my nose. And for the mouth, I just looked at my center point and kind of put a little dot. And then I also wanted to my width. So I come over here and thought, okay, about right here. And I want it to be kind of a smile. So I put a dot here and then I kind of followed it over. Didn't write it, but I just kind of looked because you don't want to follow the spirals because they get smaller and smaller. So I thought, okay, about right there is where my other one is. And then I just drew some wavy lines. You can do it straight. You can do whatever kind of mouth you want. That's just what I wanted. We are going to paint over this, so I'm not worried about that marker. All right, so... Let's go ahead and get some of the paint going here so it can dry. For my orange, you can use any orange you want. This one just happens to be 11140 Pumpkin from Anita's Acrylics. And I do not have my brushes over here. One moment. Thought I got everything ready, but I guess I didn't. So let's see here. I need... That's a good size brush. Okay, I'm going to zoom back. I guess I can leave it there for right now. So out of right out of my cap here because I'm not going to need a ton of orange. And if a little of that black shows, it's not going to matter. We're going to outline it anyway. I want to give this a good coat of orange. Get down in those little crannies. And we're going to outline this in black just to make it show show it better now if you um i don't know if 
markers would work. You can try it if you have markers for this. I just think it would take a lot of coats with markers, but I could be very wrong. This is such a cute little, I hang mine on my door and uh, my entrance door. It's actually inside, but it's um, not in the house. We have a breezeway, so it hangs on the inside the breezeway on my, but you could hang this outside. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Turn it once to make sure. It's a different angle. Sometimes you'll see. Kind of like picking berries. <laughs> Moving different angle gives you some more thing. Okay, that's pretty good there. Now my eyes were just black. So let's go ahead and get some black here. Have a little cup of water behind me here that I'm rinsing my brush in. All right, I'm going to do the same. I'm not going to fill my paint tray or nothing. I'm just going to get some out of the top of my cap here. Now let's go over to this one first. I'll give this time to dry up a little bit while we prep our hat. There we go. Try not to leave big globs of paint. Keep my triangle shape there. And if you decide you want them bigger, you can. That's why I pre kind of. And if you want, you can cut out like two of the eyes and sit them on there just to get an idea of what. Um, what it may look like. You can even cut them in the color paper that you're gonna use so you get a good idea if that's the size you want. It's a little wider, so I might have to go back to the other one and widen it a little bit, which is no big deal. Alrighty. Trying to get underneath that little curl there. All right, he does look a little wider, so let me try to widen this one just a little bit on this side. There we go. And I like that to try to get a tip. There we go. Yeah, those look pretty close to the same size. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put my cap on my black so I don't... Oh, nope, I need more black. Let me shake some more paint in here. We're going to paint our mouth. All right, here we go now. This is a kind of a flat brush, so we're going to... Start and we're just going to paint. You can use a thinner brush if you want. Okay. And now I think. Let's see. I'm going to let that set up a bit. I do need to do some stitches, but I do have a paint marker. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to use a smaller brush for that. 
Looks like my orange is pretty dry. So let me see. My paint marker won't work. Let's see. So I'm going to be careful not to touch my other. This is just your, this is just a painter's marker. I don't remember. Just probably an off brand. I don't, uh, and I still might need to go in there with a paintbrush to get, get um, down in there a bit. Maybe not. Might look fine. There we go. Oh, yeah, that stands out enough. Okay. I want to do some tiny stitches on there, but I want that to dry up a little bit. All right, so let's set this over here a second. That kind of dry, and uh, we'll come back to that. So for his hat, I could not remember exactly how I did it, but um, I know the basic concept of what I did. So I wanted my head to be about 14 inches high. So I took my ruler, and this is, happens to be an 18 inch ruler, and I come off my corner here of my fabric, which is just burlap. And um, so I come off the corner, Got that at 14 inches, and then I just made a pencil mark. Then I kept everything at 14 inches, so I would keep my tip there, just like that, right on that tip, and then I make another mark. And then I kept doing that all the way around. Make a mark, and then all the way around. Make a mark just every so often, just make a pencil mark so that I can see where, and you can see my line. So that's how I did that, all the way to my other side. Now I'm going to take my fabric scissors here and I'm going to cut that out. And that should allow us to make that cone shape there we go you get this out of my way now and then like I said this is just oh, I don't know it's a couple yards of burlap fabric that I have that I use for different things I also have the ribbons and all that stuff too but for this that was not big enough okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take one edge and we're going to bring it over and create a cone just like that okay so I'm going to use hot glue I want this this is the finished edge of the fabric and I want that it's going to be in the back anyway but I thought that would be the best way to do that again we did it at 14 inches so I'm going to right along that edge there I'm going to bring that glue. That's part of it. And I'm going to curl this over. Just, whoops. I'm going to roll it right into that. And I kind of want to be only about maybe half inch into that. I don't want to roll very far into it. I want to keep as much of my fabric as I can. I'm going to take my pencil in there and I'm just going to kind of press down with the pencil inside there. Just so I don't burn myself. So I'm pressing right on this edge here. Now I can probably get my fingers in there. We can go back and add a little more glue once that's tacked up if we need to. But it looks like it's holding pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with that. Right along this edge here all the way down oh i don't want to go all the way down so i'm gonna not go all the way down i want to 
be probably that open because when I go to put its hat on, I need to have an opening back there so it stays kind of opens up. Otherwise, it won't lay flat. So we're going to leave just a little bit here. Let's see how big that is. And I have the disappearing ruler. All right. So I left about two and a half inches open here. And I'm just going to peel that off. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now we have a nice cone shaped hat. Okay. And we can scrunch that and do whatever we want to it. Um, his other hat was not perfect. And we don't want this one to be. All right. So now what we're going to do is when we put it on his head, it will go, that back part will stay open so we can have a, a little lip. Like he's got a brim on his hat. Just like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Alright, and this is gonna this hat is gonna make the world a difference on this little guy's head because that turns him into a scarecrow. And so let's bring that up just like that. And we're gonna we'll be gluing that onto his head and like that. And I do want to Crunch it up, make it look like he's been outside for a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the other one down and then we'll hold this down. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So let's go ahead and start with our glue. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right there, right here, to get a start of holding his hat in place. So like right there. We're just going to hold that a bit. Okay. This will get some rope around it too. We're just going to kind of get that set up just a little bit. This actually doesn't take that much time. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. I might stuff some excess burlap up in there, maybe. Let's see what I got. Yeah, let's, uh, just to maybe make, this is just an excess piece of burlap here. Let me stuff that up in there to make it stand up a little bit. Oops, and we just unglued ourselves. That's all right. There. Let me make us have a little bit more. You could stuff it with other cloth. I just had that extra piece of burlap there. Okay. So now his brim has to follow along there. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect. I keep losing my glue spot there. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to glue. I'm going to start in a different spot, I guess, and glue down here. Okay. Okay. 
And I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to pull that over there like that. Let me see. Just get that folded down and I just put my glue right, right here. So I'm going to press right here. Right there. And same on this side, right in there. And now we're going to pull this down. And we're going to kind of scrunch it a little bit because we don't want... It's kind of a little bit bigger than his head here a little bit. Oopsie. Glue is not drying very fast. So I just came up along here. The glue. I'm pressing that in. Let's go ahead and do the same on this side. Right up along that edge. And it is like right here. So from the tip of his eye down. like that and this is a scarecrow so he would be outside so he wouldn't be perfect right now his eyes are covered but they won't be in a second here just trying to get uh, that glue to set up a little bit there Okay, let's come back along here, and just above his eye, there we're going to put that, and I have, I want to say about two inches of that brim there that I'm trying to save. And that glue is hot, but I've got enough built up on my fingers right now that uh, I'm not worried about it too much. All right. And from there, just above his eyes. Just like that. Now, I have this regular rope like you'd get at a hardware store. Or I have this little bit fancier looking rope. So let's see. Oh, yeah, that might be pretty on there. Yeah, let's go ahead with that one. So I'm going to measure. We're going to cut that. This is just um, this Prima Marketing. You get two yards, pure marketing trim, and it is number 573607. So, and it looks like that. Isn't that pretty? All right, so let's go ahead and let's get a piece of tape on there. Let's go ahead and put a glue line down for that. We're going to start right there. So, basically, on the outside of where our other glue is is where we're going to put our trim glue and right like that all right let's turn you and we're just going to continue with that let's go all the way with that nice nice amount of glue there we go. There. There. That's cute. His hat is off on a nice little angle here. Which, oops. Her wrist doesn't have glue on, but now it does. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. I just kind of crumpled this hat a little bit. 
right. Get that kind of up like that. When he's hanging on the door, you'll be able to see it a little better. Okay. Loose strings. All right. Let me clean off my fingers here a little bit. All right. I'm going to let him continue to dry a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and grab some of our decorations. Now, you could take a bandana scarf and um, kind of put that on him. You know, that's kind of cute. Uh, orange or red. That's kind of a cute idea. And maybe... Or I have this ribbon. So let's go ahead and do up our bow, and then I'll decide whether I want to do the bandana or the ribbon for this one. I have 56 inches of ribbon. It is, we got two, let me see here, two and a half inches wide, and it is wired. And I'm going to make a bow with it. So I'm going to start with, I yeah, need a piece of wire here. I'm going to need a piece of wire. All right, this is a very thin piece of wire. You can use, um, uh, you can actually use a bread wrapping tie if you needed to. So I'm going to make, I'm going to hold it with my fingers and I'm going to make a loop. And I've got about an inch beyond my thumb there. And so let's kind of tighten that a little bit. And it's approximately, hmm, approximately two and a half inch is across. I'm going to reach under here and I'm going to twist that right there. So it's facing back up towards me. I'm still holding that other. I'm going to make another circle, just a little bit bigger than that. Twist that. And I'm going to come on this side. And we're twisting to make sure it's up every time. I'm going to come on this side. And I want to make another circle about the size of this one. And I'm going to twist that like so. And I'm going to make one just a little bit bigger than that one. Twist it a little bit bigger. Twist it. And then I'm going to bring this up. Actually, I'm going to have to go smaller with these because I don't have enough ribbon. This is my last piece of this ribbon. So we're going to go just a little bit smaller. Same concept, twist. So if you start with a longer piece, the concept is the same every time. So I've got a smaller circle. This one's going to be just a little bit bigger than that, twist. And the reason I want to start over is because I want some tails on this. And match that one on that side. Twist. A little bit bigger. Twist. Match this one and this one. Twist. Now I'm going to bring this up and bring that right underneath there like that. Okay? So I've got a big ring. I'm going to take my wire, bring it through my circle at the top. Bring it down. I'm still holding all of this together. I'm trying to gather my wire here. Everything in there. Making sure everything's in there. I'm going to bring this wire up. And I'm going to start twisting that down underneath there. Just like so. Just nice and tight. Okay. And I'm going to fold that down on my way. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it. Where are my tools <laughs> disappearing to victory? Okay, I'm going to pull it down so it's in the middle. And I'm going to cut that. I'm going to line these up. Back to back like that. And I want to create some angled tails. I'm going to cut. I'm just trying to match them up there. I'm going to cut from my corners here. Goodness gracious. Here, let me do it this way. I'll cut down to the corners. Here we go. Just an angle like that. 
All right, so now we're going to turn that. You want to be careful. Don't pull on that. You'll, one will come right out. See? These two. Pluck them back out. There we go. So that's a bow. And you can make those bows bigger if you like. All right, so this would be the bow on him. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can get a better look of him. There we go. So this would be the bow for our little guy. Bow. And then we're going to do other decorations. We're going to do leaves and stuff. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to stuff stuff under his hat, but we'll do that. I haven't got a straw. Or scarf. You know what? I'm going to go with the bow. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of hot glue under there to hold that. And then a big gob here. There we go. And flip it. Right off to the side there. There we go. I'm going to hold that a second. I want it to sit up nice. All right, I forgot to do this here. This is just um, Rapida. You know, from Hobby Lobby. So I thought this looked like straw when I bought it. thought that would make good. So we're going to have to stuff some straw up under there. So I'm just going to some of this and I'm going to cut it. I've got it folded over there and we're going to get up under here and we're going to hot glue some like it's sticking out of this hat. Hang on. Just lost it. I just lost it. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go under here. I'm going to put some glue. This is just going to look like he's got straw coming off and underneath him, like his stuffing. And we can always trim it if we don't like the length. All right, so I've got some sticking out there, and I want some sticking out. I think I can get some. I'm going to pull that up just a little bit. I think I can get some. Right under there. There we go. All right. So we'll grab another bunch here. Cut it. I'm going to get some glue up under there. I'm not using my scissors, especially my good ones. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to kind of let that dry, and then we'll trim it down if, if we want, okay, which we probably will. It's a little crazy stuff. All right, so I'm going to get that out of my way, because that stuff goes everywhere. There we go. There we go. Get right out of the way. Okay. It goes everywhere. It's messy stuff. All right, so we don't need that rope. Now I have a bag here set aside. There's some goodies in it that I picked. I have some acorns that I glittered a couple years ago. So I have leaves, corn, and some flowers here. All kinds of leaves. So I'm going to pull some of these smaller daisy flowers off of this pit here. There we go. I've got some big leaves, some little leaves. I want to use some of these pretty white flowers. I had someone ask for more flowers. Um, <laughs> mine, as you can see here, only has one big sunflower on it and some leaves um, and some corn uh, because it was for me. 
I made other ones that had more on flowers on it. But for myself, I just wanted wanted just simple. So I've just pulled off one of these things of berries here. I'm gonna glue that down here. Right along this side here. I'm just gonna put some glue right there. And you will have glue strings. You're not. <laughs> it's a no getting off away from that, is there? And I'm gonna take a couple of these leaves and I'm gonna get a couple of scissors here. Just gonna snip them off of there like that. Just a couple. And I want them kind of poking out there too. Like that. And then I'm going to put this flower. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take off this plastic cap here. I don't need that. Not cutting that off, but I did just remove that. I don't need that. So let's go ahead and put some glue on there. And that's going to go down right on top of those two, three things actually. Just like that. I love this corn. It doesn't want to come apart. Okay. I gotta get my nippers here. Okay. okay. Some nippers. I'm gonna keep some of that with that rapido that's with that. Some of these little yellow flowers. Like I said, lots of glue strings. And we're gonna Maybe, whoops, whoa, okay, let's hold that back. Let's go ahead and get some more glue down in here. Get these things down in there like that. And then push that flower back in there. Oops. Plenty of glue there to hold that all. It's just, it's just not grabbing. Okay, so this is what we've got going on here so far. You can decorate it however you want. Okay, I'm going to trim a couple of those raffidas off there. Okay. And I want to have these leaves here are from Hobby Lobby. And they're more like oak leaves. Let me get some of those underneath there. Let's go ahead and put a good bead of glue on that. Lift up our bow here. There we go. Just like so. And maybe a red one. And we all know that acorns come from the oak leaves. I've never seen oaks these colors, but it's fall, so we're going to work with it. <laughs> Alright, so now I have some of these pretty orange one. Let's go ahead and put a glob of do glue do glob of glue right there. Just like that. And I have a pretty red one. I think I'll get one on the bow here, maybe. Maybe right here. Get that one like right there. So you can see that it's an acorn, but there we go. And I do have this large maple leaf. But I think I want another oak leaf here. Like so. I'm going to just maybe flip them. Flip the 
lighter one going down there, and then the red one up higher on this side. I'm just sitting them down there for right now. I'm using the bow as a <laughs> in between between me and those that glue. There we go. And let's get um, a brown one here. Gold one. Some of them the caps fell off, but I can just glue those back down here a second. Let's go with this brown one. That's pretty. And we'll sit him right down there. Just like that. Okay. Now I do need some more flowers. So let me get the yellow one in here. I really want the yellow ones. There's my yellow one there. Okay, I've got them to pull out that little piece of plastic because I don't need that. Maybe. It just takes up space. There we go. I'm actually going to snip part of that off. There we go. Put a bit of glue. I'm going to set that up right there. Uh -oh. This one came apart. There we go. Gotta glue this one down. He came apart on his own. Um, I think right up here on this side of his hat. So I'm just going to get a gab of glue there. And we're just going to glue that one right up there on the edge of his hat. There we go. And need a couple more of these little, our little yellow ones. Cut that off a little bit. I think we can sit. Right there. Right there. And then we've got uh, Yeah, let's see what's going on here. What else do I got? Okay. Well, this is a pretty one, isn't it? All right, let's see here. I want to see if I can get another corn in there. Let's see. We're going to stick a corn down in there. I'm actually going to bend this into a little loop. Give the glue something more to adhere to. When I stick it in there, it'll be able to hold a little bit better. There we go. And I'm not sure. Blue strings all over the place. My berries are not dry now. There we go. Okay. I think I need some. Oh my goodness, there we go. I think I was going to be able to get that off there for a minute. All right, let's go ahead and get that little yellow flower right in there. Open it up a little bit. There we go. No, 
don't want you to get those off, I don't think. Okay, right here. Okay. I'm going to pick this up and give me a look here. There you go. And I think we need some more acorns here. Let's find this one has a cap. Hmm. Hmm, kind of like this one is pretty. Kind of champagne looking. Let's put this one there. Acorns quite often grow with and uh, attached to each other. So we'll make those look like maybe they're attached to each other. And let's see. Yeah, I've got another one of those colors. Like that. I think I need another leaf up there. Let's get let's get a bright red one there. Let's see. Bright red one. Orange one. Right up in here, I think. Just like this one there. And that one there. Okay. And we're gonna get those kind of up underneath this, wrap it up, and two right up underneath there, just like that, actually I want that in further, there we go. And I like that. I think I'm going to get those acorns I had picked right in there. Put you like that. And I need another glue stick here. There we go. And you can decorate yours however you want. Minimalize it or make it even fuller than mine. It's all in your taste. I showed you mine. Mine is very simple. Very simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back in and do... Okay, we're going to go in and do our X's. So it's just to look like stitching. So just very, just little X's. And you can hand stitch these if you want. Um, if you want to go in, this would be easy to hand stitch, but I'm not going to do that. Your paint pen works just fine. Okay. I got a little spots where it's not painted. Okay, so you can see the little stitches. I'm going to do the same to his mouth. I'm going to start on these corners and give him some stitches. One on each edge here. He's been stitched up. There we go. So now he's got stitches on his mouth. And like I said, you can go in and hand stitch him if you want. There we go. Okay. okay, he needs a little bit of life in his eyes. So I'm going to come in with some white. 
Get a smaller brush here. And tip that up a little bit so you can see. And I want to create like a glint here. And here. Just like a little arch. There we go. And then I just want to put a little glint in the upper part of his eye here. Just like that. That brings him to life. Okay. All right, let's put our cat back on here. Okay. So now all I would do was go in here with a piece of wire and wire it through here for a hanger. Um, I don't have a piece handy, so and that way you can hang them up however you want. So that is how you do the little scarecrow hat. So now you could do this in a smaller size. They do have smaller hats. Um, and, you know, it does not have to be this big. But, um, and I did not find these at Hobby Lobby had smaller ones. The only way, place I found the big ones was at Michael's. So that is where I purchased mine. Um, just to, but just make sure you bring a coupon with because like I said the 17 inch hat is about eight dollars so well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my youtube channel I do put up um, all different kinds of videos and uh, thumbs up is is always appreciated too so until the next time Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.